I think I'd prefer to have soup for dinner, but we don't have any, and making it from scratch will take about three hours. Mm -hmm. It involves dry beans. Mm, yeah. Dry beans are great to have in the pantry. Don't get me wrong, they're one of the best things to have around. But you better have a plan. You, you got you got to know all the, wait, what time is it? Six o'clock. Even if uh even if it was to be cooked on high, I think it'll take about an hour and a half to cook. Mm hmm Those beans are rock hard. You put them in a slingshot, you can probably use it as a weapon. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, let's see. I'm trying to remember. Now, I presume you've seen was it Kiko has done the King's Quest series, right? I don't know if I watched those. Now, those he knows... Uh, well, no, not the King's Quest, sorry. I think it was Space Quest he did. Now, he, those, those ones... I know I didn't watch those. He... Uh, what I like about it for them is he he knows it and he knows okay now if you do this you're gonna die let's see what it looks like yeah. so I think that's kinda cool okay just harvested, harvested up some of the uh, reeds or cane what, what do they call it? I was getting, okay they call it sugar cane Mm. Okay, if it's sugar cane, where are all the uh, snakes and mongoose and who knows what else? Mm -hmm. And if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, go do your research. Okay. Um, Alright, the trees are totally cleared out. Um... I should probably break more of the uh, cobble. As fun as it is for you guys to watch, and who knows how many videos at this point, or <laughs> God forbid if it's all in one video. This is kind of what we need. Would you like to stop at uh, 7, hun? Or go a bit longer than that? Doesn't matter to me. Okay. Because you've eaten. Mm hmm. I think maybe 7 might be a good break time. Yeah, a good break time for me, I think. So, another hour. Mm. My stomach seems to have settled, which means I probably should get some food. It is helpful. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, he's. I think he's already been to the convenience store, and he has a migraine, so I won't ask him again. Convenience store in our apartment building. I could always ask for uh, grab a package of chicken noodle soup, which is you know mm -hmm. terrible and disgusting and. <laughs> would sit fine with my stomach. <laughs> and he can't have it. So it would sit in the pantry until it's like, okay, I'm desperate. Yeah. I'd rather make my own... Mm. Actually, you know, I was planning to do that. I cooked up some chicken earlier today. Going to save the bones from it. And I'm going to be making a uh, kind of chicken soup. With a little bit of chicken, mostly beans and lentils and vegetables. Fun. I'm kind of hoping to get um, a smoked turkey leg. 
and then add that into the soup. I think it would taste really good with all the beans and stuff. Do I have another pick? No, I don't have another pick. Okay. And apparently I cannot walk through an open doorway. Okay, let's get the cobble generator going again. literally got the outside wall done. Yeah. Hey, as long as it works. Seems to be. just found in one of the uh, things some charcoal. Uh. It's another stretch by Faye. Or it's a Faye stretching or I... It was stretch, yeah. Words no speak good moment. Uh, I think tomorrow's going to be fun. I'm going to be trying to do some writing if I can get enough rest. Fun! Well, I have been. It's just like mentioned before, sometimes I will, you know, write, you know, a hundred words or something like that. So, whatever I'm working on doesn't get too far. Yeah. have an idea just well it's not so much an idea it's uh, writing about uh, the little bit of fun uh, that I had yesterday fun. oh wow a skeleton spawned in the courtyard there's a few dark zones and I bet you that's where it spawned you can see it yeah and it has an enchanted bow, so it may get lucky on that. It's dead now. I can't see the loot from here. I don't know. Let me see. Um, arrows and bones. Oh, bugger. It's like, drop the enchanted bow! Mm hmm I don't want the enchant. Oh, hang on. Another uh, skeleton shooting at you, and there is a creeper down there. They. They were up on the wall.
I think my bow's out of ammo now, yes? Yes. Zero of 256. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're talking about the uh, blind Let's Plays and stuff like that. Mm hmm I can't. I was originally trying to do a blind let's play of uh, Elder Scrolls Arena. I can't do it. I have to look up on maps. You could, but you you have many many videos of just dying. Oh. And having no idea what you're doing. Or where to go because the maps are so fucked up. Uh huh. Uh, in in a town. You can, you'll get a map of the shapes of the buildings and stuff, and you can write on your map. When you're out in the wilderness, when you zone out, you cannot write on your map. So you can't make notes okay. or points or whatever. That's annoying. Very. So, oh, I need a string for that. That's not a string, that's a flower. So it's like, I didn't even know where the heck I was on the map when I started. Like the starting point, and I actually, it took me a while to find it. Mm -hmm. So I had to research it and I found on the map and I was nowhere near where I was guessing. Uh -huh. And even if I was right, it still didn't help me in trying to, uh, oh no, I want to go up, in trying to get to where I need to go because I couldn't see that on the map. Like the in-game map or anything. So yeah, this is, like I was telling you earlier, that was, uh... Harder than Nintendo hard. Hmm. Well, I was just doing some leveling off camera for it. Which, I can survive a fireball blast. Yay, finally. It's like you're level one or two or whatever and just like you go to sleep. Please don't get an enemy that can cast a fireball. Please don't get an enemy that can cast a fireball. Please <laughs> you're just praying. Okay, this wall is a tiny bit higher and a little bit silly because I left the torches in place. Yeah, you should get rid of those and put them inside. That would require effort. I was trying to get, because I didn't, wait, do I have, oh no, I have another stack. I thought it was totally out. All you viewers knew that. <laughs> Okay. I think it's almost high enough that a spider cannot uh, climb over. Mm, spiders can climb over any height. Really? I thought they had a limit. No. They can't climb horizontally. So if we put some like a lip around the edge, basically at the top. Ah, uh, yeah. And they get stuck on fences. So if somewhere we get like a fence and then a block. That's basically a lip at that point. Yeah. Which, I mean, we, we, we could probably, actually we could do and probably should. 
Um, just haven't yet. Crap. There we go. Did you fix the wall? Yes, I fixed those holes. And now I'm out of bricks. I've been kind of focusing more on the outside than the inside just because. Yeah, that makes sense. Because you wanted the mostly monster proofing. Yeah, I mean, some of the walls are pretty good as they are. That that back one there, or side one, it's a little bit trickier. Even though it has that drop-off, there's still mm -hmm. a rather high piece of land. And it always just... Okay, I'm nervous by it. Yeah. We'll get it. We'll get it done eventually. Okay, okay. Um... For it. No. I ran out of torches. There we go. Instant thirty two. Mm -hmm. Let's see if this helps a little. I'm actually texting my husband, who's in the other room. Well, it's, it's kind of hard to shout, you know, like when you're streaming. Yeah. Okay, I think this is enough torches to stop them from spawning up here on the third level, where you can walk. Possibly, I don't know. Let's see. I'll put some up here. Yeah. We'll ultimately figure out the lighting. I mean, we've got quite a bit to do yet, so we'll, yeah. we'll figure out the lighting when we get to it. Yeah. Okay, just trying to stop them from spawning everywhere. Yeah. That was noise. That was a weird ding from my phone. Uh. There we go, okay, I'm out of torches, all 32 placed. Okay, now we need more torches. We need more, a lot of things. Yeah. Don't place them on the walls like that. On the walls like what? Because then we have to move them and put a lot more effort into it when we actually go to fix, finish that wall. Okay. Just put them like in the middle of the path. Seems like it would be a lot easier that way. I don't remember placing these ones along here. It's staggered. It's usually not my style. Well, the audience will have to tell us who placed them. Because we can't remember in this series. We don't know. We've been doing this so long and so rarely anymore yeah. that I don't know. There. Okay, here we go. So I fixed this walkway. Well, I 
at least for the moment, because we're not ready. Um, along the upper wall part here, I'm just leaving them. On the outside wall, so we don't have stuff spawning on that wall. Fun. Well, the inner wall isn't even level with it, so we can't even... Can we build? Mm -hmm. Oh, we can... Yeah, we can start build, building that. Uh -huh. Like, once we have the floor ceiling in place, then we can knock down those and put them in. And put them in along the floor, like you suggested. Well, yeah. I mean, once we have the walls built, you can put them on the walls, but... In what the meantime, while you just have the path built and we're still working on the walls and such, then floor is a good place because then you don't have to move them while you're placing the walls. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see how the... It's going to be night soon. Yeah. Oh, I'm actually getting kind of tired. Oh, any time you want to stop is fine. Whenever you figure we should be done with this one, that'll give us, what, five episodes? Well, at this point, yeah, that this is about five episodes. Because it's... Uh, um, our Skype call's been going for two hours and 24 minutes, so that's... Yeah, and we started shortly after that. Yeah. So, I'm getting a little tired. We can certainly stop now, because that's five episodes plus another four that I think I haven't... Yeah, uh, I mean, saved. have us run in for a little bit, and we can always just not go months without recording if we can help it. Yeah, yeah. We can have a little bit more frequent. Yeah. Because we can finish this, and then I can just save it, and it can take months to upload all of them. Yeah. Once we get to our goal. Uh, one holdout. But Sorry. The wheat. It's like I was thinking, I mean, at some point we may just get bored with this world and mod set. Yes. I yes. mean, there's, there's a reason I have like five or six versions of Minecraft. Yeah, actually, I haven't been playing much of it because I'm kind of burned on it myself. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> My head's off the mouse, honest. <laughs> But yeah, because I've got like I've got this one. I've got vanilla. I have one that's running the Pokemon mod. I have one that's running other mods that I'm playing right now. I think I have another one running some mods I've forgotten about. <laughs> Was it, yeah. yeah, I have one running a lot of like magic-based mods, like Batania and Mindjika, which is interesting. Mm. Mindjika is fun, but the startup is hell. To get it started, it's expensive as all hell. Let's see. Well, but I play a Dire thing. Wolf one. Off mm -hmm. of the Wolf Pack, or whichever way it goes. It's so that I got that mod set yeah. up here. The one um, I'm actually playing now... Okay, yeah. Which one are you playing? Well, I, like, my... What I'm playing for single player right now is, um... It's got the, the Mountain Blade, or the Mine and Blade mod. Um, awesome name. my weapon thing. Archimedes ships so that I can just build my own damn ships and airships and such. Oh, neat. Because I'm, I'm basically using a ship as a house, so you, you know, use the thing and you tell it to assemble and it grabs all of the appropriate blocks that are connected to that thing, makes it a ship, and then you can, you know, mount it and drive it like a ship, and then you'll, you when you're ready to get off it, you tell it to reorient to the world so that the blocks are aligned right, so that it can then disassemble back into just blocks. That is so really I cool. Have a moving house for my boat. That is and really I have really battle cool. Battle towers, which are harder than fuck, because um, basically they're like eight story tower. They're huge, but they're only like eight stories. It's just that each story is like eight or ten blocks high. <laughs> mm. um, but they each have a double chest with stuff, may or may not be of any value, and two spawners per floor, except for oh the Oh my god. Supposedly spawns a golem boss, but I've yet to see one, I think, because half the time I'm 
running into them that I first saw when I was still sitting on Peaceful from just starting out. So they never spawned. But then there's the craft guide, which literally, I mean, I could make an item or I could just hit a button to show me all of the crafting recipes I have. Um, Jesus. It's helpful. Uh, I have a hopper duct mod that sounded interesting because it literally just added ducts for hoppers so that you can send things like up and doing other things. Uh, sorting with hoppers and whatnot. <laughs> and I think that's my one. The other one's the update checker mod, which just kind of happens. I think it might be part of the Mountain Blade mod. I wow. There was something else I was going to use, but I couldn't get it to work or something. I don't know. But, yeah, I mean, and that's on uh, 1.7.10, because 1 1.8 has no mods yet. There are things that claim to be, but they're not. They're viruses. <laughs> oh, now isn't that fun? It's all, I mean, it's all stuff that requires Forge, and Forge has not updated. So anything claiming 8 on Forge <laughs> is... On 1.8 and Forge, it's lying. Yeah. Really a virus. That's a rather it's good tip. Flying. Rather good tip for a beginning. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, I think then we are probably going to call it quits here. How they... many versions of Minecraft do I have? Let's see, there's... Yeah, okay. I apparently have the Technic folder still, despite the fact that I haven't tried to use Technic in an exceedingly long time. I use it. Uh, I could never get it to work. It's it is. weird. Two. Uh, three. Uh, four. I guess I have four. Well, I guess five versions because there's the mods in my. Yeah, the mods in my normal Minecraft folder are the ones that I'm using for playing with you. Yeah. So that's vanilla and that mod set. And then I have the one I used to play with another friend, the Pokemon Uni one I used to play with another friend, and then the ones I'm using for single player. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think I have about four, but how many do I play when I'm not streaming? Pretty much none at this point. Yeah, I, I, am. I, I play every now and then, but I get, I get bored. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm I think I'm done with Minecraft for the moment. And it's about time for episode to be done anyway. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well then as we saw that Faye left the game. <gasps> she left the world, oh no. <laughs> anyways. Well, anyways, I really do hope you enjoyed um this series. Yeah. And Faye crunching Crushing a bag, That's opening a cereal. It. Oh, it's a box. <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, so uh, this is Sarah and Faye saying bye. Bye. And now stopping stream. <laughs> if I can click on it, I don't think anybody's in the stream, but um, not. let's just say that you are. I will probably be back.